Uh, good morning, uh, Honorable Anne Musiwa. Uh, uh, thank you very much for making yourself available uh, for this short uh, interview. Uh, I, you are, of course, the vice chairperson of the African Committee of Experts on the, on the Rights and Welfare of the Child. Uh, you, uh, you're part of the delegation of the African Committee of Experts uh, participating in the uh, ongoing African Union Summit. Uh, as part of its activities uh, during the summit, and of course uh, the preceding date, uh, days, uh, the Executive Council has um, considered the activity reports of the African Committee of Experts on the Right of the Child and has made uh, decisions to that effect. Uh, can you please just give us uh, the gist of these decisions and may maybe you may highlight uh, some of uh, the major decisions uh, that, that have been made in favor of the African Committee of Experts on the Right and Welfare of the Child. Thank you very much, Ayelu, for affording us this time as I represent uh, the Committee of Experts on the Rights and Welfare of the Child. Sure, yes, the Executive uh, Council has uh, made some recommendations which have been approved, and uh, the Executive Council is actually calling on to member states, especially where we have. Uh, going for our monitoring uh, missions, investigative missions, that uh, those states, they take seriously or take on license the recommendations which have been made by the committee. Just to mention a few, an uh, investigative uh, mission was held in uh, Malawi uh, around issues uh, affecting children with albinism. Recommendations were made there, and we call upon the government of Malawi to consider those uh, recommendations, take them seriously, develop strategic implementation plans so that there's realization of uh, children's rights with albinism. We also held a fact-finding mission in Mozambique vis-a-vis -vis children in armed conflict, where we are calling for the government of Mozambique to ensure that the children are protected during the times of uh, war. But the Executive Council has also made a decision to call upon the states who have not ratified the Charter to ratify. I think you're quite aware, Ahelo, 55 member states, we have 50 who have ratified, and we still have five who have not ratified. Among them is Somalia. I mentioned specifically because I'm the country rapporteur for Somalia. So we call upon for Somalia and the other four states to ratify. And also the Executive Council has called upon those states who have ratified, but they've not even reported, not even an initial report. It's really a cause of concern because uh, writing the, the, the report, it actually shows us as a committee the progress which the state has made in terms of uh, implementation, progress and realization of the children's rights. So we call upon those states who have not reported at least one report to report. The Executive Council also, I'm quite happy, Ayelu, to inform you that uh, they have uh, uh, approved the, the theme for the Day of the African Child for 2024. The theme of the Day of the African Child, you remember, Ayelo? Yeah, planning and budgeting. Yeah. Planning and budgeting is indeed for children's rights and the progress we have made since 2010. 2010, we talked about this, now we want to review what have the states done in terms of ensuring that we have a budget which specifically focuses on children's issues. As you know, generally all states, children's issues, they're scattered in different ministries. And once that is like that, the budget, if you critically look at, into it, is quite minimal. So what have they done to ensure that children's uh, budget is, is lifted up? Beyond the summit uh, issues, uh, uh, I know that uh, uh, you, you are the uh, special rapporteur uh, on matters related to children without parental care. And you've been following up uh, uh, the study, the continental study that the committee has been uh, undertaking uh, in the past few years. Uh, can you please just tell us uh, briefly about the study and what it attempts to achieve? Thank you, Ayelo, for that question. Yes, um, as the Special Rapporteur for Children Without Parental Care, uh, together with the committee and our secretariat, we held a, a study on the status of children without parental care in Africa. 
just to highlight AHELO, it sounds a new term, but it is more encompassing because uh, as a committee, we really appreciate that uh, children without parental care, the different governments, they have different policies around that. For an example, just an example, some have got a policy on children who are orphaned. It's just a part component of children without parental care. So this study was looking at a broader scope of those children without parental care. This included children on the move, migrant children, internally displaced children, uh, children in conflict uh, institutions, and also children in armed conflict, children working and living on the street. The child headed families, the orphans, all those vulnerable children. So this study encompasses all. And um, we have completed the study. The study report uh, has been written. The recommendations are already there. And as a committee, the next step now is to launch that study. After launching it, we are developing a dissemination strategy so that it is disseminated, appreciated uh, within our different states, within the different regions of Africa. And our hope is that it actually reaches to the community as we know and as we appreciate that each uh, individual country, or if we look at Rex regions, each region, they've got different ways of ensuring that the child who, don't no, who no longer has their blood parents has alternative care. So the, the study recommendation, one of them is that states to reinforce the alternative uh, care methods which they already have but encouraging the states again that gradually they deinstitutionalize children without parental care so that at least they are in a home environment which is more friendly as much as we appreciate that the institution is they give some type of a home but would rather go uh, forward with that of a family institution for the children. Maybe before we uh, conclude our conversation, uh you may uh, tell us a few words about the upcoming session of the African Committee of Experts on the Right and uh, Welfare of the Child. We understand that it was originally planned to be held on uh, uh, 20th of March till 30, 30th of March, but uh, it was announced that it's been postponed. So if you can just inform us when it's going to be held, uh, uh, if that's normal. Thank you very much, uh, Ayelo, for, for giving me that question. Yes, sure. The 41st session has been postponed because of uh, practical issues, uh, logistic issues, which we are still uh, looking into. And uh, I think uh, the best thing is to say that we will inform the people of the date, the venue, when the session is going to be held. And can I also take this opportunity that all are welcome, especially member states who have not even come to, to, to present their reports, to take it as an opportunity to also come, listen, observe, and see what happens. It's a dialogue, not interrogative, so states should be very free to come. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Thank, Thank you. you.